Well, hey, welcome back to another video, everybody. We're out camping in Washington State. We are at this small little campground, and it is on the lake. This is Lake Roosevelt. And the water is really low. Really low. Look at that. So we're going to spend a night here. And we've got this nice little spot here that I reserved. So we'll get camp all set up. I might have to rearrange some stuff over here because we've got a new tent and it's quite big. But man, look at that view. Wow. All right, let's get everything set up and make this place home for the night. I'll pull her out best I can. Oh, there we go. Oh boy, a big tent. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might want to put it right here. So maybe I'll move this out of the way. Put it right here. All right, so Krua sent me out a new tent, you guys. This is the Krua Tri. This is a big old like, I don't know what you call it, tunnel tent? Maybe it's kind of like a tunnel tent? I don't know. And it is insulated, you guys. Another insulated tent from Krua. These things are awesome. So we'll go ahead and get it all set up and then I'll, I'll kind of talk a little more about it probably. That was a spider, I killed it. I feel bad. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. Nice big old bag. Full of stuff. Ooh, okay. This is probably the, uh, this is probably the insulation. Yep, definitely is. Pull that out there. And then this must be the tent itself. some instructions All right, there it is. I got it all set up, you guys. This thing is cool. So cool. All right, let me show you guys the inside. Okay, here we go. Oh, look how big and roomy this is. <laughs> Here we go. It's a three person tent, but we all know what that means. It's got some cool little windows right here. You got vents here. You got a nice window vent right here. Another vent and another window. And then you got your big old porch out here, which is nice and spacious. It's very cool. Now I can 
I can stand up in this, but you know, there's not a whole lot of room. I'm 6'6". Six, six. That's uh, 66 inches. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, this is nice. Let's continue setting this stuff up. <sighs> it's getting roasty in there. A little roasty. My only concern with this location is it's not very level. Um, I kind of just went for it, you guys, and just set the tent up. But it's really not all that level. So I started looking around at some other campsites. And now I'm contemplating moving. <laughs> After already setting that all the way up. <sighs> I like the view here, but... There's another campsite up there that's a little bit better. So I might move the tent real quick and then we'll continue setting everything up. All right, so there's another campsite up this way. I went ahead and collapsed the tent. I'm gonna take all my pegs and stuff up here and hopefully I can just drag it up here. There's a bathroom right next to it. So that kind of is nice. And the ground's just more level up this way. So let's check it out. Okay. So here we are, fire pit. And right here could be where the tent goes. Put that stuff there. Yeah, right here is much, much better. And then we still have a view. Still have a view. Which then I can have the tent opening this way and I can look out that way. So, all right, let's go get the tent and drag it up here. All right, let's see here. How shall I carry this? Just kind of up on my back. There we go. Huh. Okay. It's working. Definitely not the brightest way to do this. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> okay. Where am I going? I can't even see. Okay. There we go. Sight six. That's where I want to be. <laughs> Try not to get hooked on these. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Tent's going down. There it is. There it is. Whew. Don't do that. Don't just don't set up your tent in the right spot the first time. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, move the rest of the stuff up here. I'll probably get back to you guys once I have the tent all set up and in its proper spot. All right, I got it all moved, you guys. There it is. The hardest part was just getting it up here. And now I'm more familiar with how to set it up, so that's a good thing. <laughs> It'll be easier next time. So now all we got to do is we've got to uh, put in the inner tent and get everything else moved in there. Well, I had a failure. I went to tighten this buckle and it ripped right out of here. Whoop. I don't know if I can stop that from happening. That's a major bummer. It's not gonna hurt this at all. It's just sad. All right, so take a look at this, you guys. Look at that. I know it's a little hard to see in here. I could probably open this window. All right, there we go. Check it out. You can cover up the windows and make them dark. You also have your air vents there. But you can close this thing in and have a nice little, little space here. <laughs> Man, this is nice. 
so nice. I really love this insulation. The little insulated tent is just so cool. I'm gonna probably close this window so that the sun will not heat this up too much. Man, that's so nice. <laughs> Very cool. You do have some pockets on the side here by the windows, which is nice. And, and you have a hook for a light over here. So very cool. It's cozy in here already. Man, I could just go to sleep probably. <sighs> does fit, but not perfectly. Huh. Still feel like I'm out of slope a little bit. Maybe I'll have to move over there. But wait, there's more. Isn't that awesome, you guys? I love that little front porch. Man, that'll come in handy for sure. So let's check it out. I got my little seating area table chair and then just some stuff that i need whatever it is first aid bear spray you know nice little spot here and then inside we've got the bed the lamp and the alarm clock <laughs> i'll explain later man this is really cool Man, what a beautiful view, you guys. It is awesome out here. I'm so glad I switched uh, campsites. Though it was a pain, it worked out for the best. So I'm really liking this tent setup already. I mean, it's, it's like a little house in here. It's like a little cabin or something. Super comfortable. Uh, aside from the ripped seam, which is a major bummer. Hopefully I can figure that out. Um, otherwise, definitely is a cool tent. I'll keep you guys updated as we use it more. I'll probably just sit here for a little bit, relax, cool down, and uh, we'll start uh, a fire and, and cook some dinner. Probably just watch the sunset here for a few minutes. Enjoy ourselves.
Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for this day, Lord. I just thank you for this beautiful place, the scenery, the wonderful weather. And Lord, I just give you the praise and glory for all of that. I pray that you will bless this food to my body tonight and be with the family as I'm away. I thank you so much. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh, we got some steak sandwiches, you guys. These things look awesome. It took a long time to, to kind of do it, but <laughs> hopefully it's still warm. Here we go, first bite. Oh, that's good. That is a good steak sando right there. <laughs> Man, it's got the sourdough bread, Havarti cheese, a little bit of a uh, garlic butter with dill in it mm. that's what I'm talking about you guys that is a good meal oh man winds picking up good I might have to take this down it's starting to get really windy I don't like that I've got some popcorn, you guys. This is the stuff I forgot last time uh, when I was out at the island. And I wanted to see if I could actually cook this, your microwave popcorn, in my billy pot. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> we'll open this thing up. And hopefully I can just cut this open or tear it open. Oh, that's weird. Okay. I don't know if anybody's ever looked at one of these prior to cooking it. Oh, man, look at that. It's just a bunch of butter and corn. Popcorn. We'll just drop it in there, I guess. Oh, man, this is going to be the buttery stuff. <laughs> I don't know, I think this was movie theater. I don't know. So there we go. We've got our popcorn and all the grease and oils. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We'll throw that on the fire. There we go. It's working! Whoa! Look at all that popcorn! <laughs> it worked! Wow, look at that! Oh man, delicious looking popcorn! We've got popcorn, popcorn. Look at that. Oh man. Mmm. Perfectly popped popcorn. Oh, it's the movie theater. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> now we know it can be done. I'm sure a lot of people do it already, but I was curious. Mmm. That's good popcorn. Yeah, that's it's a beautiful night. I was watching the moon there for a little while. It was up in the sky and just made its way out of sight. 
Man, there's so many stars out here. It's just beautiful. The wind's been kicking up a little bit, but it's uh, it kind of comes and goes. Probably just coming through the valley and stuff. I don't know. I'm using the last of the wood here, and I figured I'd just sit by the fire and relax. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I know there's a lot of new subscribers and stuff, and uh, I just uh, want to say hi. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for being here and uh, supporting me and the family. I'm having a ton of fun on these trips, you guys. And I know a lot of you want to see more of the family. Um, in the last video, we had the family uh, family hike. If you had, didn't see that video already, it's up here. And uh, they, they really enjoyed that. That was fun, and I know a lot of you guys liked it too. So we'll be doing more family stuff too, down the road. It is currently 53 degrees outside. Um, it was warm today, you guys. I haven't seen those temperatures in a while. But I think I might have got a little bit of sunburn on my face. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. I never do. Which is not a good thing. You should cover up. But it's okay for now. We got embers, we got to stomp out. I don't know if I can see them. Right now it's not very dry out here, but this place gets super dry, I think. Um, when I was researching it, the pictures that it shows, it shows some really dry grass. So I would hate to start a fire out here. Don't want to do that. So I'm really excited about this tent. Um, it's really nice. It has a whole lot of function to it, you know? <laughs> I don't know what that means. It's just nice, that's for sure. All right, you guys, I am in the tent. Man, it is cozy in here. It looks so cool. Like I said, it's like a little cabin in here. It was about a two hour drive out here for me. It was a long day and I am ready for bed. So we're gonna try to get up early. I've got this here alarm clock. <laughs> Who wants an alarm clock while camping? But I do because I want to get up early and I know what it's like inside these insulated tents. It's so dark in here. You can sleep forever. It's really cool and really nice. But if you want to get up and do something, you might need yourself an alarm clock. So actually, this this one's pretty cool. It shows the temperature inside and it's 57 degrees inside here. And yeah, so I'm not sure what time I'll wake up. I guess when the sun's up, because what I want to do is get out there and catch a fish. I'm going to try my hardest to catch a fish tomorrow. It may or may not happen. So that's going to be it for me tonight. I'm going to hit the sack and hopefully get some good rest. All right. I'll see you all in the morning. Good night.
Just five more minutes. Just five more minutes. Well, good morning. It's, uh, it's a little after seven now. Man, I'm not ready to get up and make breakfast. You know what would be super nice? Is if I could like call in some breakfast and have it delivered. With like coffee and and like a breakfast sandwich or something. I'm doing it. Thank you for calling Wakey Wakey Eggs and Bakey. How can I help you? Hi, right, yeah, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to order some breakfast and have it delivered out DoorDash. Okay, for delivery? Yeah. Sure, what can I get you? I'll need a coffee, a breakfast sandwich, and do you guys have any of those like little mini like pancakes? Sure, the silver dollar ones? Yeah, those, those. Okay. Yeah, I'll have a side of those too. And what's your location? Okay, oh, my location? Yep, one second. My location is 27.9881 degrees north and 86.9250 degrees east. Okay, perfect. Did you get all that? Sure did. Okay. Um, about how long it'll take? We should have our guy out there about 20 to 30 minutes or so. Hmm. Reasonable. Okay. All right. I'll, uh, I'll wait for, wait for the food, I guess. Thanks again. All right. Thanks so much. Bye. <laughs> there you have it, guys. We're going to outdoor dash. Yeah, this is a first. Let's see how it, uh, see how it turns out. Well, I forgot my uh, toothbrush and toothpaste, so I'm gonna have some bubble gum before they get here so my breath don't stink, y'all. Oh, I think I might hear him. Let's check. Yep, that's him. Pretty easy to spot. All right, I got your outdoor dash. You had a uh, breakfast sandwich. Oh, coffee. I forgot the coffee. All right, I got your outdoor dash. I got your coffee this time too. Okay, so you had a uh, a breakfast sandwich. You had the little mini pancakes and a nice coffee, right? Yep, that's correct. Yep. Here you go. Ooh, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. That's some good stuff there. Here you go. Good. What do you want? All right. Thanks so much for using Outdoor Dash. I'll see you next time. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Nice breakfast sandwich. 
and oh some pancakes look at those nice Ooh, got syrup and butter on it already nice Nothing like coffee in the morning. <laughs> and some mini pancakes. <laughs> I'm just eating them with my hands. Why not? All right, we're gonna go do some fishing. I got all rigged up and everything, and uh, I don't know what's gonna happen, but we're just gonna have some fun. So let's do it. Now there is a dam on this uh, lake, so it'll rise and lower as they need it. But I don't know how low this is, but it's super low. I mean, if you put the dock right here, You'd expect there to be water right here, right? <laughs> there ain't no fishing from the dock on this one. <laughs> I got a bird's eye view of all the fish. Man, this is steep. There's somebody out there trolling on the boat. Oh, this is gonna be fun to go back up. Trying to find out where this guy was fishing. Is that bad of me? <laughs> I'm following his tracks. Where'd you catch your fish? If you did catch a fish. That was cool. Well, no fish. <laughs> you can call me no fish, Kenny. I don't know what it is. I probably didn't get out there early enough. I, uh, I should have got out there when that other guy was there. <laughs> Maybe then I would have caught something, I don't know. I've got to pack up that tent, got to get out of here. Well, if you guys want to know more about the Krua Tri, I'll have a link down below. The tent did awesome last night, I really liked it. Um, I like the whole setup. It's like a little cabin in there. Super comfortable. Crew a try. There will be a link down below that you guys can check out if you want to know more about this tent. And uh, yeah, definitely a thumbs up on the whole experience of the crew a try. All right, let's tear it down.
All right, I got everything cleaned up. Looks nice out here. Back the way it was, maybe even better. I really like this campsite, you guys. It was a lot of fun. I'll, I'll definitely be back, for sure. I really like the tent, you guys. Um, I wanna try it out in the rain next, and definitely in colder weather. I was surprised by the weather we had. I wasn't expecting 70 degrees. Um, <laughs> not at all. So, I'm a little beat. A little beat by the heat. All right, well, I gotta get out of here. I've got about a two hour drive ahead of me. Get home to the family. So once again, thank you so much for watching. As always, God bless, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye! Lay it all down, lay it all